the TNTN Quebec's first Tour de France. Riding in their first Tour de France, South African team MTN Quebec had simple hopes of animating the race. And when Daniel Tekleheimerot got into the breakaway on stage six, they looked to be on their way to doing just that. And we have our first African, King of the Mountains of the Tour de France. Dreams that do come true. Huge, huge moment for him. Tekla Hymenot would eventually lose the jersey to Chris Froome in the Pyrenees. But MTN Quebec still had one more trick up their sleeve on stage 14. A day which also happened to hold a unique meaning. Today is a very special day. It's Mandela's birthday, and especially for African cycling, South African cycling, uh, we are giving out to all the teams these bracelets. Hopefully they will wear them, because Mandela changed the world, and we also want to make a better place. Sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire, the power to unite people in a way that little else it does. Dave, if there's a big group you follow, Ed Valk is there, he can follow as well, but I don't want you riding too hard today. You save it for the end. The racers today, Paul, have gone out the blocks like scolded cats. They spit the field all over the place. Steve Cummins is riding back up into third position. Tense moments here for two Frenchmen. Steve Cummins has joined him, and he's going to jump the Mizio straight by. This would be an incredible result for MTN Quebec. <laughs> significance as Mandela Day. What was the moment like when you hit that finish line? And it was a huge motivation. Oh, it's just fantastic for the team. I always dreamt of winning a stage like this from a big breakaway. What's that team celebration going to be like tonight? Uh, I don't know. We never did before, so I hope it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> MTN Quebec exceeded their goal of animating the race. And the impressive mark they left on this year's Tour de France certainly promises great things ahead for this inspiring team.